Okay, thanks so much, guys. Although the Kruger National Park and the surrounding reserves that we discussed during the last webinar make up one of the largest and best known of the African parks, South Africa offers far more than just one destination or region to visit for a safari experience. With a number of conservation areas and national parks throughout the country, we have broken down each of the reserves together with our top tips and highlights for each one. And today, we'll be chatting about safaris in the Medekwe, Swalu, the Eastern Cape, and KwaZulu-Natal. We're going to be starting off with the Medekwe Game Reserve, which is located in South Africa's northwest province and forms a part of South Africa's border with Botswana, close to the Kalahari Desert. The land making up the reserve was once used for farming, However, the poor soil quality meant that farming was, on the whole, unsuccessful and a national park was proposed as a way of uplifting the area. The area was declared a reserve in 1991 and 10,000 mammals were relocated from other national parks into the reserve. Medekwa Game Reserve is currently the fifth largest game reserve in South Africa and is also one of the lesser known parks in the country, making the reserve a real hidden gem. The park offers a number of luxury lodges in a malaria-free zone and no day visitors are allowed in the reserve. The Medekwa offers visitors an abundance of wildlife in a region of great ecological diversity. Sightings in the reserve are limited to a maximum of between two and three game viewing vehicles at a time. The reserve is home to the big five, including black rhino, along with other rare species such as African wild dog and cheetah, as well as 350 recorded species of birds and 120 resident mammal species. A quick summary of the highlights of the Medekwe. The Medekwe is very scenic with huge craggy mountains and hills and the red sand and earth of the Kalahari Desert makes for dramatic scenery. As the Medekwe lies so close to the Kalahari Desert, it has an overlap of habitats which are also home to some of the rare and elusive desert species. There are now more than 120 mammal species in the reserve and 350 resident and migratory bird species. Antelope include Eland, Gemsbok, Sable and Nyala, Orobi, Diker, Clipspringer, South Africa's national animal, the Springbuck, and rare species such as brown hyena, artwolf and cheetah can also be spotted. The Medekwe is semi-arid as it's on the edge of the Kalahari Desert. The Medekwe has a number of luxury lodges, including well-known lodges such as Medekwe Safari Lodge, Medekwe Hills, Matea Safari Lodge, Mulori Safari Lodge, and Marikuru. Impodimo Game Lodge has a brand new hide which overlooks a waterhole and is the perfect spot to watch wildlife up close. The hide also has a fully stocked bar and offers air conditioning for a perfectly comfortable safari experience. Old favourites also include Jackie's Safari Lodge and Jackie's Tree Lodge, together with the owner managed and run Jamala Medikwe, which offers elegant luxury and attention to detail. A honeymoon in South Africa is definitely enhanced with a stay at a Safari Lodge, and the Medikwe does not disappoint in this regard. Some of our top picks for romantic honeymoons include Malori Safari Lodge, which is located deep within the Medekwe and offers absolute privacy with only five suites. All suites have floor-to-ceiling retractable glass walls which open onto a private deck with plunge pool. Malori does currently offer a honeymoon special and the details are on the special office pages on the agent zone, but in brief the bride receives a 50% discount on a federal air flight from Johannesburg together with a complimentary room upgrade and a romantic picnic. Medekwe Safari Lodge is made up of three lodges, but their Databa Lodge is a great honeymoon option with only four suites. 
the lodge is casually luxurious and each of the reed thatched suites has a comfortable lounge, an elevated deck, private plunge pool and an outdoor shower. Medequa Hills is located on a rocky outcrop and is cleverly set among the boulders and an age-old Tambuti trees. Medequa Hills has 10 spacious and luxuriously appointed suites, each with a private deck, plunge pool and an outdoor shower. The lodge does have a honeymoon suite which has a special outdoor claw foot bathtub which is built into a well-concealed corner for secluded soaks under the African skies. Lodges in the Medeco, which are great for families, include Medeco Safari Lodge's Lalapa Lodge, which is a wonderful option for families. Nilapa actually means family in the local Setswana language. Unpretentious and luxuriously laid back, the Lapa has four family suites, which have a separate room with bunk beds and, perfect, and are perfectly kitted out with toys, games, and books. Experienced child minders are on hand, and the Lapa's Eco House is the center of the tailor made kids program. Kids' activities include animal spore tracking, treasure hunts, and pool games, as well as cupcake decorating and rock painting. Taningi Safari Lodge welcomes children and gives them the opportunity to experience the wonders of nature and wildlife. Kids' activities here include game drives and kiddies' bumbles, which are shorter game drives tailored especially for children, treasure hunts to find items like nests, bones, eggs and snake skins, educational talks and kids' activity booklets, which include a variety of games and colouring pages. Jackie's Safari Lodge's main lodge building has recently received an extreme makeover, resulting in a bold, refreshed, upgraded and spectacular new gathering place. Features include a spacious and elegant lounge, a copper fireplace and bar, kitchen and dining areas, all proudly reflecting Jackie's trademark, striking and colourful decor and the authentic, proudly South African atmosphere. Jackie's Neri Suite sleeps up to four adults and two children, and the Safari Sleep sleeps up to four adults and four children. Guess that both of these will have their own private game viewing vehicle for the duration of their stay. Special kids' activities include baking special treats with the chef, guided walks along the Marika River, a variety of kids' toys and games, game watching from the submerged terrapin hide, and arts and crafts activities. The Marikuru Lodges in the Medekwe are made up of three separate properties called Owner's House, River House and Farmhouse, all of which are booked on, to, on an exclusive use basis, which I will go into in a little bit more detail just now. Perfect for family stays, Marikuru doesn't offer a set kiddies program as they believe that children should be given the same individual care and attention as the adult guests with each child's food requirements, bedding preferences, interests, age, and life experiences considered. Children receive their very own Marikuru Kids backpack, which is filled with some fun and useful goodies, and kids can enjoy a host of child-specific activities, from tracking lessons to baking biscuits, and from bush walks to board games. As I mentioned, Marikuru is made up of three separate exclusive use houses namely owner's house, river house, and farmhouse. Visitors operate at their own time schedule and with the expert guidance of a ranger and tracker, enjoy a laid back, personalized game experience. Owner's house is the smallest of the properties and is perfect for couples, honeymooners, or a small family, as it has two huge ensuite bedrooms and the house is nestled in the trees surrounded by decks and balconies. Farmhouse accommodates up to 10 people and is a modern contemporary African homestead with bespoke items produced by local artists and craftsmen in a neutral palette. River House has three double ensuite rooms and accommodates up to six adults and four kids. The decor is a combination of European styling with hand-packed African pieces. Each of the houses does have a swimming pool, a private chef and butler and a private safari vehicle. 
Accessing the Mint Declare is fairly easy as it can be accessed via road for those clients wishing to self-drive um, or, or be transferred in. And it's also an easy four and a half hours drive from Johannesburg. Also easily accessible by air, Federal Air operates daily flights from their hangar at O'R Tumba International Airport into the reserve. There are two airstrips in the Medeque, Medeque East and Medeque West, and these service all of the lodges in the reserve. Looking at the weather in the Medeque, the spring and summer rains bring the bushveld back to life and the reserve is filled with lush, thick vegetation with many newborn animals. The months between October and April have warm, humid days averaging around 30 degrees Celsius and the highest rainfall is usually during the month of January. The winter months are from May to September and are usually dry and cooler with day temperatures averaging 23 degrees Celsius and night temperatures dropping to 2 degrees. Autumn and winter can be dry with less dense bush and water holes being frequented more often due to the lack of rainfall. Moving now on to our next reserve, which is Swalu Kalahari, and is South Africa's largest private wildlife reserve. Located in the Kalahari, Swalu covers a vast area of open plains and classic Kalahari dunes. Swalu is found at the foot of the Koranamberg Mountains, which cast a shadow over the rolling dunes in the expanse of grasslands, and it's these mountains which provide a dramatic backdrop to the wildlife sightings. Situated in the savanna biome, Swalu lies in a transition zone between the true Kalahari ecotype and arid savanna. Swalu's land is not shared with guests from other concessions or lodges, which means that there are no areas that are off limits and guests can spend as long as they wish at sightings or indulging in their own particular interests, whether they are creatures large or small. A private guide, vehicle and tracker are assigned to each booking, allowing for a completely personalized experience. Just to look quickly at some of the highlights. The few visitors to this pristine part of the Green Kalahari have a once in a lifetime experience of seeing African wildlife from mighty lions to scaly pang pangolins framed by the reserve's famous red sands. Taking part in Swalu's mission to restore the Kalahari to itself, guests enjoy the simple but electrifying pleasures of seeing crystal clear night skies and watching weather fronts sweeping dramatically across the savannas. Swalu is in a malaria free environment, and Swalu offers an incredibly exclusive and tailor made safari experience with only two lodges on the reserve. Animals that guests could hope to see at Swalu include the Kalahari lions, which are famed for both their size and their beautiful manes, Klemsbok, Springbok, Eland, Red Heart Spearst, as well as rare species which are seldom seen in the more traditional safari areas. These include roan antelope, sable antelope, sesebi, and the desert black rhinos. The Kalahari grasslands tend to offer excellent cheetah viewing, and wild dove are also regularly seen on game drives. Swalu's small carnivores offer perhaps the most special and unique sightings. Meerkat viewing is unparalleled because the reserve has two colonies of habituated meerkats, and some of the more unusual carnivores include back-eared fox, artwolf, brown hyena, and small spotted uh, genets. Swalu only has two camps and travellers will be one of just 28 or less guests. The Motsi was completely reimagined in 2019 and is a secluded village of nine dwellings. Children are accommodated in, in um, all room categories, but three of the nine rooms have been specially designed for families and comprise of two separate bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms, and a spacious shared living area. Each of the dwellings has an ensuite bathroom with walk-in shower, outside shower with views of the surrounding bush and wildlife, an open fireplace, separate dressing and study area, telephone, safe, wireless, wireless internet, and a private sun deck with stunning views of the Kalahari. 
Guests at the Motsi each have their own private game viewing vehicle and a dedicated guide and tracker. Swalu Takuni is an exclusive use private homestead with five suites, sleeping up to 10 guests, and is ideal for smaller groups, for either family parties or close friends. The homestead has a vast open plan lounge and dining room and a cozy library and games room, while a covered deck leads to a private sala and swimming pool. Activities at Swalu include private game drives, bushwalks, encounters with the meerkat colonies, horseback safaris, stargazing, and exploring ancient archaeological sites with sand art dating back 380,000 years. Guests staying at Swali can also choose to spend a night in their Malori sleepout, where you'll spend the night surrounded by the calls of the nocturnal animals with nothing between you and the brilliant stars of the Kalahari night sky. With no compromise on luxury, guests will enjoy drinks and snacks while looking out at the spectacular views before sitting down to a delicious meal. Children's camp beds are also available for the entire family to enjoy the sleep out experience. Swalu Kalahari offers daily scheduled flights from both Johannesburg and Cape Town, typically on a modern and reliable Pilatus PC-12, and flight reservations can be made together with the accommodation bookings. Swalu can also be reached by road, however most guests choose to fly in from either Cape Town or from Johannesburg. Spring in the Kalahari is during the months of September and October, and the weather is warm, although the evenings can still be chilly. Summer is between November and March, and the hotter days are punctuated by mild evenings and spectacular afternoon thunderstorms. Rain in the Kalahari is unpredictable and near miraculous, as it brings an almost instantaneous eruption of colour as the Kalahari transforms into a carpet of golden flowers. The autumn months of April and May are marked by milder days and cooler evenings as the last of the summer rains peter out. Between June and August, the temperatures can dip below freezing overnight, although the days remain pleasantly warm and dry. Moving on to the Eastern Cape, which offers a number of game reserves, including the Addo Elephant National Park, another one of South Africa's national parks. The Addo Elephant offers a variety of rest camps as well as three private lodges, which are Riverbend, Kazuko and Gore Elephant Camp, all located on concessions within the park. The Addo Elephant National Park stretches from the semi-arid Karoo of the north, over the Zurbeck Mountains and down through the Sundays River Valley to the coast, to between the mouths of the Sundays and the Bushman's Rivers, and is home to one of the densest African elephant populations on earth, with roughly 550. More recently, the Addo Elephant National Park has also expanded to become the only park in the world to lay claim to Africa's big seven, elephant, rhino, lion, buffalo, leopard, southern right whale, and the great white shark. It has done this by expanding along the coast from the Sundays River mouth towards Alexandria, and by adding an offshore marine reserve that includes two islands, both of which are essential breeding grounds for penguins and for gannets. A number of private reserves can also be found in the Eastern Cape, and these have been created from reclaimed farmland by conservationists with a desire to re-establish the landscape back to its original state. Shamari is one of the oldest of the private reserves in this area, while Kwandwe is one of the largest. The Eastern Cape is malaria-free and is another great option for families looking at a wonderful safari experience and can easily be combined with the garden route for travellers wishing to explore this beautiful region. A quick summary of the highlights of the Eastern Cape include that the area is the perfect addition to a Cape Town or garden route itinerary. The Eastern Cape is malaria-free and makes a great family safari destination with many of the lodges having dedicated kids programs. The Eastern Cape incorporates a number of different ecological zones, ranging from lush evergreen forests to rugged mountains and dry savannah. 
The Eastern Cape Game Reserves offer dramatic and beautiful scenery. The Addo Elephant National Park is famed for its large elephant herds and the area is also good for big cat sightings. The Eastern Cape has a number of lodges to offer, with Shamwari alone having seven different lodges, Kwandwe having two lodges and three exclusive use houses, and Lalibela and Karike each having four lodges and an exclusive use house. Lodges range from the more traditional stone and thatch lodges to luxury tented camps, modern boutique style buildings, and lodges that are more reminiscent of the old settler farmhouses. Gora Elephant Camp is found on a concession in the Addo Elephant National Park and offers luxury tented accommodation with a gracious manor house forming the main area of the camp. Kazuko Lodge rests on a hill overlooking plains and the Winterberg Mountains. 24 chalets offer guests awe-inspiring views of a Big Five Reserve, a watering hole in the plains of the African Plain Karoo. Some of our top picks for romantic honeymoons include Kwandwe's Great Fish River Lodge, which is summed up in three words, elegant, contemporary and intimate. The nine spacious suites have floor-to-ceiling framed glass doors, which fold back to reveal views of an uninterrupted wilderness. Shamwari Sindiri Lodge is their new luxury tented camp. The nine luxury freestanding tents are elevated above the surrounding bush, allowing uninhibited views, unsullied by any other man-made structures or light pollution. The harmonious Intimate design minimizes the environmental footprint of the reserve. Enzolo Lodge is nestled in a secluded valley, surrounded by African bush and expansive plains. With only four chalets, a stay at Enzolo offers intimacy and privacy. Lodges found in the Eastern Cape, which are great for families, include Shamwari Riverdean, where children can engage in the Kids on Safari program, and the Kids on Safari Adventure Center, which has a host of activities available, including a kids zone with a variety of playground activities for younger kids and toddlers, a maze, zip line, rock climbing walls, and a network of tree houses, which are connected by suspended walkways. It also has an adventure slide, a kids library, arts and crafts activities, pizza making in an outdoor wood fire pizza oven and cookie decoration. Riverdean Family Lodge overlooks the widespread bush felt of the Eastern Cape. The newly renovated lodge is the ideal place for families to bond for hours as gentle giants roam in the distance. Kwandwe's Eka Lodge offers a wide range of children's activities and kids receive a welcome gift on arrival at the lodge. Families can participate in fun and adventurous activities on the reserve, including kite building, scavenger hunts across the reserve with thought-provoking clues to seek hidden items. Families with children under the age of 12 are welcome at Lalibela and are accommodated at their family lodge, Mark's Camp. Lalibela's Mark's Camp has family rooms which can accommodate two adults and two children and a special children's program is offered for kids aged two or older. The program includes special activities, children's game drives and meals. Saboya River Camp has a dedicated playroom tent for the kids and activities from the lodge include game drives, river cruises, guided walks, fishing, canoeing, swimming in the river and ocean, bird watching and beach walks, or simply relaxing in a hammock with a good book. The four beautifully appointed and spacious tented rooms lead out to spectacular views. The tents include king or twin beds with sleeper couches, making this a favorite camp for families. There are also a number of exclusive use options in the Eastern Cape, and these include Kwandwe Private Game Reserves, Melton Manor, Fort House, and Uplands Homestead. 
is each of these come with a private safari vehicle, a ranger, trekker, chef, and a butler. Melton Manor and Fort House both have four bedrooms, while Upland's homestead has three. Shamwari's Sirili Lodge is a sumptuous five bedroom lodge which overlooks the plains of the reserve and the Bushman's River. A stay at Sirili is tailor made to the guest needs, and this includes meals, game drives, and guided walks. Mills Manor at Lalibela sleeps up to 10 guests in five ensuite bedrooms with three of the rooms opening out onto the veranda, the indigenous gardens, and to the valley views beyond. Mills Manor is an authentically restored 100-year-old farmhouse, which is typically Edwardian in style, with gables, high ceilings, large rooms, and a wraparound veranda. The stylishly furnished, colonial-feeling Long Hope Villa at Riverbend Lodge is a typical Cape farmhouse with pitched roofs and wide verandas. The three bedroom villa can accommodate six guests and has attractive central spaces, including an interactive kitchen, and opens up onto indigenous gardens and to mountain views. The Kariha homestead was built as a farmhouse and this seven bedroom homestead enjoys comfortable guest spaces, ideal for a home from home family safari. It opens up out onto an appealing outdoor boma and a private patio. Highlights of Kariha Homestead include a private boma, an outdoor deck and a large swimming pool. Accessing the Eastern Cape um, is really easy. The nearest national airport is Port Elizabeth and there are daily scheduled flights from both Cape Town and Johannesburg airports into Port Elizabeth. Some of the lodges, like Kwandwe and Alibela, have private airstrips and private charter flights can be arranged to the lodges, while Kwandwe offers a daily flight service from Port Elizabeth Airport into the reserve. Looking at the weather that you can expect from the Eastern Cape, the Eastern Cape climate boasts a blend of Mediterranean and subtropical weather. The East experiences higher levels of humidity and rainfall compared to the West, which has drier weather conditions. During the winter months, temperatures can range from 7 degrees to 22 degrees Celsius, and during the summer months, temperatures are between 16 and 36 degrees Celsius. The last area that we'll be chatting about today is KwaZulu-Natal. Northern KwaZulu-Natal has a number of well-known game reserves and a variety of luxurious lodges, and these include lodges in the Shishlui on Filosi Park, the Manyoni Private Reserve, and the well-known Pinda Private Game Reserve. Found inland and close to the town of Ladysmith is the Nambiti Private Game Reserve, which is the reserve that Rovers rail journeys through during the Durban Safari itinerary. An array of wildlife, including the sought after Big Five, cheetah, plains game, and prolific bird life combined with breathtaking scenery over diverse landscapes makes a safari in KwaZulu-Natal an unforgettable experience. A number of reserves can be found in the northern KwaZulu-Natal area, including Africa's oldest game reserve, the Shishlui Omflozi Park, which was proclaimed in 1895 and is owned by Ezemvelo Wildlife. The park lies in the heart of the old Zululand and is rich in history, dating back to the early Iron Age and the peak of King Shaka Zulu Kingdom. The park is also renowned for its conservation efforts, particularly Operation Rhino, which was in the 1950s and 60s, when the park became world famous for bringing the white rhino back from what near extinction. The park is home to the Big Five with both black and white rhino, as well as hippo, cheetah, spotted hyena, jackal, giraffe, zebra, and a variety of antelope. The park is known as one of the best places to view Nyala and is a prime birding destination with over 340 species of birds. The north of the park is known as the Shishlui area and is more rugged and mountainous with forests and grasslands, while the southern part, known as the Onfolozi, 
is close to the Black Omphalosi and the White Omphalosi rivers and has more open savanna. Self-catering chalets can be booked at Hilltop Camp and at Impila Camp. Or guests can stay at Rhino Ridge Safari Lodge, which is the only privately owned lodge within the park. Nearby Mantis um, has its Omphalosi Big Five Lodges, namely in Tembu Lodge and Bayela Lodge, both of which are located on a 6,000 hectare private concession, which adjoins the Shishlui Omphalosi Park. Here guests can enjoy sightings and safaris on both the private concession and in the Shishlui Omphalosi Park. The Manioni Private Game Reserve is one of the largest privately owned game reserves in KwaZulu-Natal. The reserve was created in 2004 with the dropping of fences between 17 dedicated landowners and is now a 23,000 hectare protected area. In 2005, the reserve was confirmed as a release site by the World Wildlife Fund and a founder population of black rhino were released into the reserve. Since the establishment of the reserve, lions have been reintroduced, which makes the reserve a big five reserve, and cheetah and African wild dog have also been reintroduced. Spectacular views abound, and the reserve has a varied landscape of mountains, open plains, and dense riverine woodlands. The Manyoni is home to luxury safari lodges, including the family-friendly Rhino River Lodge, which offers three types of accommodation, including double luxury rooms, family chalets, or one of two bedroom private safari homes. The camp accommodates a maximum of 24 people at any time. All accommodation types feature air conditioning, ceiling fans, private verandas, mosquito nets, coffee and tea making facilities, and of course, a fully stocked minibar. Rhino Sand Safari Camp is an eight bed luxury tented camp which was designed to bring an authentic safari experience in traditional East African style to KwaZulu-Natal. Each tent opens completely on three sides, so guests can immerse themselves in the wilderness experience. And all tents have a stunning view of the riverbed below. Bayeti Private Camp has only three chalets and accommodates up to six guests. The camp has been designed with a central open plan lounge and dining room, which lead onto a private deck and a rim flow pool, which overlooks an active dam. Leopard Mountain Safari Lodge is a family run lodge with only eight suites. The suites offer incredible views over the valley below and are a light, spacious haven of peace and tranquility, perfect for guests to relax and unwind in. Pinda Private Game Reserve encompasses 28,000 hectares of protected wildlife land in northern KwaZulu-Natal. The reserve is home to Africa's Big Five, as well as 436 species of bird, and Pinda is particularly well known for close-up sightings of the elegant yet elusive cheetah, as well as the rare black rhino. With seven distinct habitats, including woodland, grassland, wetland, and forests, interspersed with mountain ranges, rivers, marshes, and pans, the reserve is also home to a thousand hectares of rare, dry sand forest and is located in close proximity to the unspoiled beaches and spectacular coral reefs of the Indian Ocean. Beach visits must be prearranged, though, and would be a full day activity. A variety of activities are available, including twice daily game drives, nature walks, conservation and community experiences, sleep outs, village tours, a very special infrared night eye experience, specialist safaris, as well as nearby ocean activities like scuba diving and seasonal turtle hatchings. Just to note that some of these activities are at an additional fee.
The Nambiti Private Game Reserve consists of 23,000 acres of grasslands, riverine bush, savanna, and thornfold, which gives the reserve a wonderful diversity of wildlife, including the Big Five, and the reserve is known for its variety of bird life. Located two and a half hours drive from Durban and three and a half hours drive from Joburg, the reserve is also an easy addition into an itinerary for travellers wishing to explore the battlefields and the Drakensberg. With nine lodges in the reserve, guests have a choice of accommodation options from budget to luxury and romantic to family friendly. Some of the lodges in the reserve include the Nimbiti Hills Game Lodge, Cheetah Ridge Safari Lodge, Nambiti Plains Game Lodge, and the Isiweni Luxury Safari Lodge. Highlights of a safari in KwaZulu-Natal include that the game reserves located in KwaZulu-Natal make for an ideal itinerary, including the combination of both beach and bush, as well as proximity the rock, to the Rock's Drift and Fugitive's Drift battlefields for those with an interest in this period of history. The Northern Natal Reserves are in close proximity to the Isamangaliso Wetland Park and can be combined with the state Makakatane Beach Lodge, which is found in the park and on the shores of Lake St. Lucia or at one of the guest houses in the town of St. Lucia. The, reserve, the reserves offer diverse scenery and beautiful landscapes and are a paradise for birders. A variety of lodges can be found in KwaZulu-Natal and these are suitable for different budgets. Some lodges are perfect for romantic stays or adults wishing for a break from the hustle and bustle of city life, while others cater towards families. Some of our top picks for honeymooners include the small and intimate Rhino Sand Safari Camp in the Manyoni Reserve, Tanda Safari Lodge in Northern Natal, which is ideal for honeymoons and for romantic occasions, and a stay here will include candlelit bush dinners, petal scattered linen, bathtubs big enough for two, and a sparkling plunge pool. And Beyond's Pinda Forest Lodge is a one-of-a-kind eco-lodge set in a rare and beautiful sand forest. A dense canopy of trees provides privacy and floor-to-ceiling windows invite the forest in, with a wonderful opportunity to view wildlife roaming outside the glass bubble, while fluttering birds nesting in the foliage can be seen, together with the sounds of the gentle rustle of the forest. Mantis's Bayelo Lodge is located adjacent to the Shishlui Omphalosi path and is another great place for honeymooners. Each villa here has a private balcony that runs down the length of the villa and features an outdoor shower and either a private plunge pool or a day bed. The rooms here are very, very spacious and each comprises of a, a large lounge area which flows into a bedroom and ensuite bathroom. Lodges in KwaZulu-Natal, which are perfect for family stays, include Rhino River Lodge, which is a relaxed family-style safari lodge with a reputation for excellent customer service and superior value for money. The two family chalets each have two double bedrooms, one of which is a second-story loft-style room, a shared bathroom with bathtub, an open-plan living area, and a private boma. Rhino Ridge Safari Lodge has two safari family rooms comprising of two rooms joined by a common lobby. The rooms are open plan and spacious with private showers and glass sliding doors opening onto a viewing deck where guests can enjoy the sights and the sounds of the African bush. The family safari rooms have a private deck, double vanity, air conditioning and overhead fans, a mini bar and a safe 
A special kiddies drive is available between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock in the mornings for kids between three and six years. The children do need to be accompanied by an adult. And beyond Pinder Mountain Lodge is steeped in Zulu heritage and this lodge offers beautiful mountain view suites, cottages and a one-of-a-kind family suite with panoramic vistas and access to a selection of unique safari adventures. Embracing and welcoming families, the lodge staff endeavour to create memories for multi-generational safaris that last a lifetime. Space, comfort, privacy and sensational views were top of mind with the creation of the family suite. A children's playroom in the guest area is inviting and playful and is a space of creativity, safety and learning. A sparkling pool is the ideal respite from the heat and provides a perfect spot for families to frolic and enjoy the sun sheltered under expansive umbrellas. The kids can don their aprons and chef hats and delight in making delicious pizzas in the interactive kitchen in the main guest area. Exclusive youth safari lodges in KwaZulu-Natal include the Tanda Safari Villa Izulu, which is a magnificent Afro-chic villa set in this lush lawns and surrounded by the, the bush felt. The villa accommodates 10 guests and five luxurious suites. Beautifully appointed entertainment and living areas include spacious zones in which to relax. And beyond's Pinda Zuka Lodge accommodates eight guests and is characterized by hues of blue stone with a strong emphasis on shape and texture. This four cottage lodge has an overall ambiance of simplicity with a sophisticated coastal bush style. Guest spaces include an interactive cafe style kitchen with indoor seating and dining areas and an extended wooden deck overlooking the bush felt. The and beyond Pinda homestead also sleeps eight guests and is designed with a feel of a contemporary bush farmhouse. Pinda homestead offers an elegant yet homely environment and has an interactive kitchen which brings the lodge's private chef into the center of the experience. Four private bedrooms and bathrooms blend pleasantly with the cool, expansive and inviting guest spaces. Safari times and meals are completely tailored to the guest requirements to create a memorable and personalized safari. Access to the reserves and the lodges. With international flights arriving directly into King Sharka International Airport, accessing the reserves in KwaZulu-Natal has never been this easy. Nimbiti Private Game Reserve is three hours from King Shaka International Airport, while the reserves in Northern Natal are also about a three hours drive. Richards Bay Airport is located between one and a half and two hours drive from many of the Northern Natal reserves and has daily scheduled flights between Johannesburg and the Richards Bay Airport. The and beyond Pinder Lodges can be accessed by air with flights from KMIA directly into the reserve and private charters from anywhere in South Africa can be arranged into the reserve's private airstrip. The weather in KwaZulu-Natal. With summers from November to February being hot and humid, maximum temperatures range between about 28 and 31 degrees Celsius, and the summer season receives the most rainfall. Autumn, which is from a about March to May and spring, which is September to November, are generally milder with temperatures between about 24 and 27 degrees Celsius. The winter months are between June and August with maximum temperatures in the mid twenties and days are warm, clear and dry. Thank you so much for joining us today and please let us know if you've got any questions.